So this is one of the source, collecting the seeds by climbing the individual trees, paying about 300 rupees per tree. So this is the seeds from a single tree collections. You can see that in the paper bags also the seeds are there. Then we raise them with the individual identities, each tree identity, 197 trees, the identity was maintained. And we raised about 16,000 seedlings. So 16,000 seedlings we raised and we used it for, for our trial purpose. And from this 16,000 uh, seedlings, we selected about 64 outstanding seedlings. So the, from 64, finally about 45 seedlings we are taken for propagation. So this is how we selected the trees. So this is the propagation of those 45 the clones of teak and uh, teak is difficult to propagate. It will not respond for just by cutting because number of plants or the cuttings you get very less. So there we have to intervene with the tissue culture. So we, we collected the buds from here and took them to the tissue culture lab, multiplied there in large scale. Then again, we came back to the greenhouse for rooting purpose. Okay. So this is where we collected our buds. And these buds will go to the tissue culture lab. There it is multiplied, the shoot multiplication. Last case, shoot multiplication. From shoot multiplication, after multiplication, it will come back to the, the greenhouse for rooting. So we have done a rooting in the greenhouse conditions. So this year it has given a very good uh, results. And uh, this is the rooted cuttings ready for planting. So this is, you can see that 2018, okay, plants, 2018 plants, you can see the form of the trees. So trees are growing very straight, very good growth. And this is about uh, two years growth. And why I said it is the, the title says to increase the farm income because teak is ideally also suited for agroforestry models, like set up on our society. So not only as a, this is a, both suited for plantation crop as well as for agroforestry model, is suitable. Now, this we did due to the bund planting in the beginning. So subsequently, we went for the agroforestry models. Casuarina and teak. Between teak trees, three meter espacement between a casuarina, row to row, three meter, between trees, two meters. So you can see that alternatively, teak trees, uh, casuarina plants. And why? Why did we go for this method or model? So we had seen in our earlier uh, uh, trials, when you grow it along with casuarina, the teak trees, they also grow straight. Whether the trees stick to each other, we don't know, but they grow very straight. So that's why we were very happy with this. So this is two years old. Today it is three years old. It is two years old. Teak trees with casuarina. The problem here is teak is a heavy light demand. We told farmer after one year, you have to cut the tree. He said, sir, casuarina is growing so well. This is near Salem. I don't want to cut, let me get a little more girth so that I can give it to paper mill. So this year, sir, he has cut this year, three years. Our teak trees of growth is, okay, but we wanted to cut in the first year itself. Since uh, they were not able to do this model, we did, the model is there, but the farmer was not ready to cut. We are replicating this model in Kolegala. November, I have planted teak in one acre area in a one private big farmer. So we are also planting casuarina, but the condition is casuarina has to be removed after one year. Because in one year, teak also will get that shape. So it is amazing growth, very good growth. Teak, like Shetapan said, it is a fast growing species. Is, if you provide proper nutrients, it is really a fast growing species. So this is an agroforestry model, teak with casuarina. 
this one I had not shown this photo earlier. This is the first time I am showing because this is just to, uh, now the plantation is three years. The photograph we had taken last year. This is in Chhattisgarh near Raipur. Again, it is a two year old growth, it is a black plantation. So all these things, good soil and drip irrigation. Now, you can see that it has uh, put on about uh, 12 inches girth, about four inches GBH. So this is the type of growth. Definitely in 20 years, you can harvest. You can get about 30 cubic feet of food because you can see the clear bore height, minimum 30 feet. So you will get more than one cubic feet wood at this growth. And 30 feet, you will get 30 cubic feet. And 60,000 rupees, definitely you will get it. It's possible. So now, there's a, after seeing this growth, there's a heavy demand from Chhattisgarh for IFGTV to supply the plants in lakhs. From Kerala Forest Department also, they are asking. Since we are not able to do that much production. We have sourced it, the production of the plants to the private companies. One is in Mysore Lab Land Biotech. There is one company in Bangalore, Google. So we have sourced them. They are doing a very good work. So by another three months time, they are able to supply 20,000 plants to IFGTB back. So this is the arrangement. So this this is a one. Uh, sorry. So this is one private uh, plantation of tea uh, near Shimoga by a farmer, and uh, you can see that there is a lot of variation. The earlier one you have seen is a uniform go, but you can see here there are trees which are folk, there are trees which are thin. So that day when you take a seed raised material or plantation, there is bound to be variation. Whereas the clonal, you have seen earlier slides, it is fairly uniform. Of course, he had explained a lot of other difficulties like getting the permission on those things. I am not going into those details. So like I have mentioned that uh, the teak is native to India. The diversity studies, the genetic diversity is using the markers. The work has been carried out. A lot of work has been carried out. And uh, they could see that, you can see that the teak, I do not know, it is uh, not very clear. Whereas my PowerPoint was clear, but here it is not very clear. So you can see that India dry interior, India moist, oh, west coast India, that is the semi moist areas. You can see that these sites, they have got a lot of diversities. Okay, this is a molecular studies. So that means I made a statement, India is the, the diversity center for teak. So I was telling that there's a lot of private plantations which have come out uh, outside India, particularly in Africa and Central America and Sabah in Malaysia and also in Indonesia. Now this is the publication. This is the work which they have done by the YSG Biotech. So status of the YSG Biotech program of building teak genetic resources in Saba. Okay. And mass production and quality control of teak clones for tropical plantation. Again, it is by the same group. So a lot of work they have done in Saba. And uh, this clone, which they are propagating in Saba, they call it as a super teak. And this teak has been supplied to Central America and South America. So they are the buyers. So you can see here that the BBH, the yellow one, what you can see is, it is the volume production of the clones. The other one, the gray color one is for the volume of the seedlings. 
you can see more than 60 to 70 percent higher growth, higher DBH, and a higher volume by using the clone only. And uh, these are the clones from the Saba, clone number 713, uh, 331 cubic meter per hectare, or 47 cubic meter per hectare per year. So this is the type of yield they are giving. And it's a very good yield. That means you can harvest teak trees at about less than 20 years. So this is an agroforestry model of teak, and uh, we are also trying to do such things in uh, India. We have started and try to work on this. And uh, this is the survey. It is done by the teak resource, uh, the, the FAO. And uh, 2010, they did the survey, and the report was published in uh, 2012. So. All these countries, they are growing teak to supply teak timber to India. The target country is, again, India. And uh, you can see I have taken it from their website. Okay. So it is known as Teak Resource Company. So it is a Brazilian company. And they say they are supplying the certified teak wood. And you can see the extent of that. Are monoculture. Within monoculture, the worst type of monoculture is clonal plantation. At least monoculture means at least seed root, some diversity. Monoculture of clone is the worst. No diversity at all, but high productivity. So it is only about few clones they have planted. So Brazil company. Farm, there is another company. Okay. So this is uh, Novel Teak, a company from again from uh, Central America, and uh, that is Miro Miro company. One of our students who studied in IFGTB is working there in that company. It is a British company establishing a plantation in Sierra Leone, that is in the the Western Africa. So two of our students are there working in the teak plantation in Africa. So they are producing a lot of teak wood that is coming to Indian market as African teak, Brazilian teak. So you can see this uh, 1970, 1995, and 2000, 2010. So this is, uh, uh, sorry, I have mentioned, not mentioned this. The numbers you have to add. 1,000 hectares. So it is Africa today, it is 4,69,000 hectares. OK? And you can see that 1990, uh, 1970, 1995, 2000 in Africa, how the plantations have increased, teak plantations. It is exclusively teak plantations. So it is increased from 70 to 2010. Then from 2010 to 2020, it has increased further. That data I don't have. But definitely, it is uh, double than 469. So this is thousands, 469,000, 4,16,000 uh, hectares of plantations. And uh, you can see, likewise, in uh, the Central America also, it is more than 1,32,000 hectares of plantations. So, director has also mentioned that roadmap for 47. So, roughly, I have given this. Teak is native to India, has large diversity. Our farmers are interested. It's a good species as agroforestry crop. And common man prefers teak. And uh, there are large areas suitable for growing teak as a plantation crop. But uh, we, we should be able to supply the good quality seedlings to our farmers. So there is a changing in scenario because of advancement which may include technology, rotation age. Then there is a private companies which are started investing in this. It has become a global species. 
and uh, how you can utilize the, the resources which has been created already here. So the seed production areas, like I said, immediately you monitor them, uh, remove the weeds, apply some fertilizers, remove some inferior trees, start collecting seeds. So you will get at least about 10% more yield. The other route is select the best trees, collect the seeds, raise the seedlings, then select the best individuals, clone them. That's what we have done in IFK. The other one is the seed orchards. We have got a good number of seed orchards. So these seed orchards, we have to monitor them, manage them, and we have to do a roguing of the trees, which are inferior trees, by getting the information from a progeny trail, collect the seeds, and use it for plantation program. From these seeds also, you can select the clones. So a long-term breeding program is required, and uh, the farmers should be able to get the good quality planting stock, and uh, the precision silviculture practices and the right kind of material, we can bring down the rotation age to 18 to 20 years. So, creation of consortia of research institutes, farmers, artisans, and wood-based industry, and we can export the fish. So that way we can fulfill grow in India, make in India, and export it from India. So this is what just I wanted to share with you people about how we can make, we can I mean, bring you. back the glory of peak. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.